Welcome to Alicia Today. I got an exciting video for you guys today. So last night I was trying to work on a tumbler for my grandmother's birthday. And so I got one of these type of tumblers and um, I did a full wrap engraved. So I want to show you guys a video about this. <clears throat> so a um, couple of things about this tumbler. So one, I wasn't sure about the color, um, but I just used the same settings I use for my, if you guys saw my forensic science engraved tumbler that I did on the um, glow in the dark tumbler. That tumbler was like straight down the same size around from top to bottom. This one, I don't know if you guys can tell, it's skinnier and it gets bigger as it goes up. So if you guys have a tapered type of tumbler and you're interested in how to engrave one of these type of tumblers with one file using Xtool, Xtool Creative Space. So it's, they um, shorten it to XCS. If you're interested, let's get into it. So um, I'm gonna be using this tumbler because I wanna try a different color to see if those same settings work that I used. Um, let me show you guys what I did first. So first what I did was I got a tape measure and I just measured around the bottom and the middle and the top. So then I got those measurements. I did it in inches and in millimeters, but I used inches because it would seem better. So then I got that measurement and then I got the measurement for the, I guess you could say lengthwise, because I would say the side, I would call it width. So once you get those measurements, I wrote them down and then I went to create my design in Canva. So let's go do that. So I don't think I said this, um, but the reason why I'm excited about this is because I have not been able to find a video on how to do this. Um, so I had to figure it out myself. So I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, so the first thing I did was if you look up at the um, top here I put in the dimension so this is the uh, dimension so for the eight inches that's how tall the cup is when it's sitting on this bottom and then the 10.25 inches is what I measured for the largest portion of the circumference of the top of the tumbler and then I just put 24 ounce because this tumbler that I have is a 24 ounce tumbler so the 10 by 25 10.25 inch by 8 inch is the size that I made the canvas um, so what you could do um, once you get into Canva is you could say like create a new so it's kind of like you if you're at the home page you go to create new and then you could put in custom size and then just make sure it's in inches and you could type in those um, dimensions so make sure you measure whatever cup that you're using and you take this method that I'm showing you and you apply it to your cup so the first thing I did was I got some squares or I should say rectangles um, let's see rectangle frame because I wanted to do like the <clears throat> only the box, the outline of the box. And then I found a square that you could um, adjust the sizing. So like this one, it has where you can adjust the sizing. So what I did was I did eight of these squares and I started off small and I got larger as I went to the top based off of the dimensions of my tumbler. So like I said, make sure you're measuring your tumbler. This is what you wanna do to make sure your design's gonna fit on your tumbler. Okay, so once I got all my rectangles um, added to the page, I just made them go from the bottom to the top, from the smallest that I measured at the bottom of my tumbler, 
and then to the largest that I measured at the top of my tumbler. So then you'll have basically this area within these rectangles will be where you can put your design so that you know when it engraves, it's going to fit perfectly. So you don't want to put anything, any design elements in this outer area because the cup, this, there is no uh, cup right here towards the bottom because it's smaller. So next what you want to do is just go to some elements and find some things you like. So I'm going to get heart because I like hearts and get the ones that are like outline or silhouettes because those kind work best when you're trying to engrave. So they have all kind of stuff. They got um, baseball, they got pets. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this heart and put it on here. And so I'm just gonna keep doing this. I'm gonna find a whole bunch of different designs that I like and I'm gonna add it to the canvas and then I'll get back to you guys with all the things that I added so you can see what it looks like before we um, export it to Xtool Creative Space. So this is the design that I ended up with. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna take out all of these rectangles because you don't want them to engrave. Um, so I grouped them together, um, but I'm just going to delete them out of the picture Okay, so once those are gone, you want to be able to um, flip this image as a whole because it will engrave the, um, uh, the name backwards and that's what you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make this a PNG. So download this as a PNG with a transparent background. And I only want to do this page. So once that's done, I'm going to come right back into Canva. I am just going to make another page. And then I'm going to go to my uploads. And then I'm going to grab the file that I just downloaded. So we'll download over here. I'm going to put it back into here. I'm going to stretch this out to make it fit exactly in this canvas. And then I'm going to go up here to this flip and I'm going to flip horizontal. So then it's going to be backwards. So again, it was like this, but you want to flip it so that the name is um, mirrored, I guess you can say. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to go to share, download. I always put transparent. <laughs> um, and then you're just going to get the correct one. So it was on three. Done download and I download it as a PNG you could do a SVG if you want but I'm not going to be cutting it I'm just going to be engraving it so then I'm going to go to X tool creative space and this was the one that I um, did before uh, so I'm going to take this one and I'm going to turn this to ignore so that way I don't lose my file and we're just going to push that out of the way Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna go to your image and then you wanna import that image that you just made. Okay, so adjust your size back to what, you're, what you measured as your um, canvas. So it was 10.25 by eight. And then you're going to rotate it 90 degrees and 
and then when you hit your canvas make sure that you have this on laser cylindrical material stainless steel dog tag mode roller and then now we're going to put it into the um, x tool s1 mind you you could use this method for whichever laser engraver you have um, you just have to basically try to find the settings that work for yours but this method of making the wrapped tumbler design should work for anybody's um, laser engraver okay so let's go to um, putting the tumbler into the s1 on the ra2 rotary attachment Okay, so for this part, you just want to make sure you have your RA2 rotary plugged in up here. Make sure you plug this in before you turn on your, um, your laser engraver. Then I have the RA2 Pro rotary attachment with these as um, what's going to hold the tumbler on. And then I have also this piece that um, you can use to um, make sure that your tumbler is leveled. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take my tumbler and I'm going to put it onto here and I'm going to tighten it. So you just want to make sure it's tight enough so that it doesn't fall off. And then you also want to make sure that your tumbler is on the little wheels that are on this attachment. You want to take your level and you want to make sure that that bubble's in the center. You also want to make sure that this is pretty much straight inside of here. Um, once you do that, you're going to take your laser and put it right over the top of your tumbler so you can get the distance measurement. And then inside of Xtool Creative Space, let's see. Inside of here, you're gonna click out of your image and then click this distance. That's going to give you the distance from the material to your laser. Okay, so once you do that, you want to make sure that your laser is pretty much kind of lined up towards the bottom. And if it doesn't look straight, you can adjust your tumbler, um, but it looks like it's straight to me. So then what I do here is once the laser is set, I take my image, let's see, so I select my image and I move it so that it's kind of like lined up with the laser. And now it's lined up right here, you see the laser here? And then I do framing just to see if it's going to frame it where I want it to go. So I'm going to hit framing, it's going to pop up this. And then it's going to tell me to push this button here. So I'm going to do this. And I'm going to see where it frames. So to me, it looks like it framed it perfectly. Yes. So then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close my lid. Make sure you have your safety goggles ready to go. I'm going to come over here and I'm going to push that my framing was complete. I'm going to click this again. Make sure that this is on output engrave. And I just left it at the settings that were um, for the stainless steel dog tag. Then I'm going to push process. It's showing me only the image that I want to engrave and not that other. Remember the one I put as um, ignore. So then now I'm going to go up here and push start. Once it's finished processing, it's going to tell me don't walk away from the um, 
engraver or the laser and then I'm gonna push this button. So I'll get back to you guys with how long this takes to do it. Just wanted to give you guys um, how it looks when it first starts. I'll check back in at multiple points just to show you the progress. So right now we're on 12 and a half minutes and so far this is where it is. It looks like maybe it's like a fourth of the way done. So after about 49 minutes, it had just stopped. So that's the end product. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take it and wipe it down with some alcohol on a baby wipe. I'm gonna show you guys that and then we'll see the finished product. So I'm grabbing a baby wipe and some alcohol. And see what I mean how the name is now on there correctly so this is if you do the settings just like how I had it I don't know how it will look if you do the Chuck setting I'm gonna try that one another time see how it's like off or not um, but right now it seems like for me at least the um, the roller setting works with how I do it so I'm just gonna keep doing it that way okay so I'm just gonna go rinse the rest off with some water because I think I pretty much got like all of it off and then I'll show you the very very last part all right so I gotta clean off a little bit more but this is the end product super cute um, and it comes with um, this type of lid where you have like a straw. So like if you want to do like, let's see, let me get this on here. So if you wanted to do just like, so if you wanted to do where you could just sip it, have that option and you wanted to just have a, like a little straw then you can have that option too so if you guys are interested in this tumbler in general um, I can make them in this um, if you're interested in this tumbler I can make it in this kind of like vanilla tan color this blue or white um, so if you guys want to support my channel and buy one of these cute little tumblers I'll post a link in the description um, Take care, stay blessed, thanks for watching, rate, comment, and subscribe.